Good day. My name is Nigel Russell. I work at um, Guy's Hospital in London, previously at Nottingham University Hospital. And I'm talking today about a study we've been doing in the UK run by the NCRI trial uh, as part of our AML18 trial, which is a trial that's been running for the last three years in patients over the age of 60 who are fit for intensive chemotherapy. Uh, and the aim of this study is to ask the question about the optimal use of gemtuzumab in older patients who are fit for intensive chemotherapy, uh, combined with standard induction donorubicin cytarabin 3 plus 7 type chemotherapy. So the question was, does a fractionated schedule of gemtuzumab reduce the relapse risk and improve survival compared to a single dose of gemtuzumab given in an induction? So the background to this question really was based upon the results of the Alpha 0701 trial, which has the, led to the approval of um, gemtuzumab in Europe, um, comparing that schedule uh, or fractionated schedule with a single dose schedule that had previously been used in the UK in our AML um, 16 and AML 17 trials, which showed a survival advantage. So the question was, um, is the single dose as good as the fractionated schedule? And as I say, this is for patients fit for intensive therapy over the age of 60, median age was about 68 years of age, with an um, age range of uh, 60 to upper 70s. Um, and ran, and uh, the, the structure was 847 patients uh, over the age of 60 uh, were randomized. Now, we, um, the randomization was for patients without known adverse risk cytogenetics. So the basis here was that we know that gemtuzumab has no benefit for patients with adverse risk cytogenetics. So we wanted to try to exclude patients uh, with known adverse risk cytogenetics. Um, however, a proportion of patients with adverse risk cytogenetics that weren't known at diagnosis did enter the randomization. So patients were randomized to receive either a single dose of three milligram per meter squared on days one, or a fractionated schedule where we gave two doses of gemtuzumab, three milligram per meter squared, with a maximum of one vial or five milligrams, on days one and four of chemotherapy with DA3 plus 10 based induction therapy. We didn't use the schedule that had been pioneered by the Alpha Group, which was three doses on days one, four, and seven, uh, with subsequent doses on days uh, in the second course, primarily because we were concerned about the tolerance in older patients, the risk of um, VOD, and also the impact on delayed count recovery in older patients, particularly platelet count recovery, which had been reported using the, for the doses described in the French study. Um, so as I say, 847 patients were randomized and um, the overall survival uh, from randomization showed no significant difference. There was no difference in the response rate uh, the, well, there was a slight increase in the proportion of patients who achieved a CRI, uh, compared, uh, a, a CR, a, an overall response of CR plus CRI in course one, but, but by course two, the, response, the overall response rate, um, complete remission rate, was the same in both arms. And survival at three years following randomization, overall survival, was not significantly different. Likewise, there was no difference in the risk of uh, relapse or relapse-free survival uh, in those patients who had achieved complete remission. Um, what we, uh, this, therefore, this study found no significant evidence of a survival benefit for a fractionated GO schedule. We do, however, plan to undertake a meta-analysis of this data with a comparable number of patients, younger patients with AML, who've been randomized to a similar, uh, in, a, in a similar way in our AML-19 trial. And in the meta-analysis, we hope to have over 1,500 patients that we can uh, ask this question of the benefit of a fractionated versus a single-dose schedule of gemtuzumab. Uh, thank you for your attention.